Yo, what's up guys, it's Vape Tech Unboxed, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Inspio NGP Folio Case for the iPhone 10. But before we begin this video, I just wanna say I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night wherever you are, and I love you guys, but you already know that, so let's get into this video. Bam, and there it is. But before we break into this box and take a look at this case, I do have to send a special shout out to everybody who has shown love on my second channel. If you guys wanna support your girl, go show some love, get subscribed, the link will be down below in the description. All right, I also have another shout out for you guys. I do wanna shout out Jason Ramos for requesting that we take a look at a decently prized wallet case for the iPhone 10. So here it is, Jason Ramos, this one is for you, thank you for suggesting that we take a look at a wallet case. Now, this one isn't the cheapest wallet case you can get, but it's definitely affordable for sure. This case is going to run you $24.99. It's called the Translucent Folio for 25 bucks. I figure that's pretty much like a middle price range. You know, it's not too high, it's not too cheap. I figure it's like right there in the middle. So this is the one I chose to pick up. This one's the NGP Folio Translucent Folio case for the iPhone 10. This this one is drop tested at five feet and on the back side it'll also give you the scale drop tested at five feet so at this case we get convenient card slot carries an ID and or credit card and then we have slim fit design we also have flexible polymer and we have stretch and tear resistant so that all sounds pretty good Nice and Scipio packaging as always let's go ahead and get the case out and try it on looks like this when you open it up and we'll get that. Nothing else in the box. Get that out of here. And this is what the case looks like. Okay, there's something in here. Oh, yep. Your little Incipio follow them and tells you thank you for your purchase and you get a one year warranty. All right, get that out of here. Now, this is what the case looks like. This is what you're gonna be getting for 25 bucks. So it is a translucent case. As you can see, you can see through it here. Translucent, it's like a rubbery material. It's like a, yeah, it's like super rubbery. You can obviously bend it, it's not too hard. But this one, we wanna keep it nice and clean on the inside, cause it's gonna show the back of your phone. Oh, okay. So it has a little texture on the inside when you rub your fingernails through it. On this side, you have a really soft material so it shouldn't scratch your screen when you close it. It's really soft and I'm gonna try to stick one to two cards in that slot right there. But it folds up nicely. You have little buttons right here. Do you guys see the little cutouts? Not cutouts, but do you guys see the little indention for the buttons? So yeah, let's go ahead and throw it on the phone and see what we think. We gotta wipe down the phone real quick. Let's see how easy it is to put on. Yeah, it slides in there super easy. Very nice to put on. So without this part, it's basically just like a gel case like a really flexible gel case but then you also have this so you do get a little bit of front screen protection looks really good you can kind of see the Apple logo there pretty transparent it's a little slippery although it has like this sticky feeling to it so it's not too bad it has a nice sticky feel to it just like a gel case it might scratch up fairly easy so just be careful and and note that that it it might be a fingerprint magnet and it might scratch up fairly easy. But this is more like a, I don't know, it has a really cool texture to it. Not quite like a basketball material. I don't know, it's different. Definitely has a, a little texture to it. Now I noticed that the cutout, the front cutout is larger than the actual phone. So it kinda, kinda goes over. Do you see this extra material? That might be in case you put more than one card or something. I don't know. That kinda looks weird to me, but maybe cause there's nothing in it yet. But that's what it looks like on the phone. Got front protection, this wraps around. Let's see if the case offers any bezels. And it does, there are some front screen bezels. They do lift off my screen protector, but I still recommend pairing it with a screen protector just to be safe. But you do get some bezels, so if it pops out like that, you should be good. You don't have to worry about that. Now the camera cutout is deep enough to protect your lens. Yeah, the bezels go around pretty nicely. Camera fits in there very nice as well. Let's see your Siri power button. It's pretty clicky and your volume buttons. Very tactile, very clicky. Mute rocker cutout, easy to get to. It's not too deep. Cutouts on the bottom are accurate. Everything looks legit. And your lightning cutout's not deep at all, so you should be good with third-party chargers. Not too sure about docking, though. For this case, I think we'll be able to wirelessly charge. Boom, just like that. 
because the cards are on the front so I'm not too worried about wirelessly charging this case even with cards in it because the cards are in the front side not the back so I think we're good to go and you can already see some fingerprints piling up on this case so yes it is a fingerprint magnet keep that in mind you will get some fingerprints on it if you want to take a picture using your camera you do have to open it up like this snap the picture and I also noticed there's no cutouts here for the speaker so I'm guessing you're gonna have to take your call like this you'll have to answer it and leave it open or flap it to the back to take your call that's what I'm assuming because I've seen a lot of folio cases I've never owned any because they're really just not my style but a lot of them have little holes up here for the speaker and this one just doesn't but it does have these little indentions for your volume up volume down so if you need to get access to those you can right here it's not gonna be for everybody but you know a lot of people do like these kinds of cases so if this one's for you it's actually a good quality case for 25 bucks you have a little bit of company branding here I just saw it's not a bad case it's it's actually really good quality it's made nice let's go ahead and throw in some dummy cards real quick and see how many cards it can hold again these are dummy cards so don't come at me in the comments for putting cards in the video so there's one card. I think it is large enough for only one. And you can't put cash or anything because that's like a super small cutout. Let's try another one real quick. You might get away with putting your debit card and your ID. It makes it pop out a little bit. See that? And there's no clasp, so there, it doesn't like, there's no magnet or nothing, so it doesn't hold down. But I guess you can fit a debit card and an ID in there should be fine I would do it cuz I don't just carry one card with me I usually carry my ID and my debit card so I'm gonna need to put two cards in there so maybe it'll stretch out a little bit it is a tight fit though so when you want to get it out it's pretty tight but there you guys have it that's the NGP folio case for the iPhone 10. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below in the comments. Also, if you guys have any case suggestions or cases you want to see me pick up before you buy, make sure you drop that down below as well. I'm willing to try out more folio cases if you guys want to see any other style or any different ones. I was thinking about getting that Apple one, but I'm afraid to pay $100 for something that I probably will not use that much like at all. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any wallet case suggestions, I'll do my best to pick them up. But I do want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching my videos and hanging out with me tonight. I truly appreciate all of your guys' company. Also, I want to thank everybody for showing me some love on my second channel. If you guys want to support your girl, the link will be down below in the description, along with the links for my social. So if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, that's where you guys are going to see these cases before I even upload the videos. And if you want to get to know me on a more personal level, if you are into that, the links are going to be down below as well. And if you guys are into makeup, make sure you guys go show Nick you some love tell her I sent you her channel link is also gonna be in the description for you guys but I am done here I love each and every single one of you guys y'all better stay freaking dope and I will catch you in my next video